with all this background we talk about the food chains food chains are a one way flow of energy food chain is a flow chart diagram that shows the flow of energy from one biotic component of an ecosystem to another and then to another and then to another and so on so food chain is actually a relationship between different trophic levels or different biotic factors within an ecosystem if we simply exemplify a food chain then this will be from producers eaten up by the consumers consumers eaten up by the decomposers in an ecosystem different types of food chains exist this is actually a relationship of eating and being eaten in an ecosystem we know that different types of organisms are present various types of plants various types of animals and many of these animals um, are herbivores many of these animals are carnivores there are different types of plants um, and uh, because different types of animals will eat upon different types of plants and uh, some other types of animals will eat upon those animals so in an ecosystem lot many types of food chains they do exist and as we know that ecosystems they are very different from each other and um, all those ecosystems have different types of biodiversity so in different types of ecosystems different types of food chains they do exist we will talk about a few examples from various ecosystems of um, different types of food chains let us have a look on the slide of a food chain you can see in the slide that initially there is a plant there is a worm which eat upon this dead plant then this worm is eaten up by the turtle there are turtles in the environment which eat upon these worms and turtles are themselves eaten by the eagles it makes a straight relationship that is producer the plant eaten by a worm worm is a consumer that is eaten by the turtle turtle itself is a consumer but a secondary consumer which is eaten by uh, the eagle which is then in this way we call it a tertiary consumer this is a straight generalized food chain now we talk about some specific food chains food chains in some specific ecosystems we talk about first a grassland ecosystem we have to look at few properties of the grassland ecosystems grasslands which are other way, um, other way uh, we can call them um, vast land vast areas on which grass or grass like plants they do exist amine kudrati charagahein bhi kehte hain the grassland ecosystems has have some characteristics the rainfall in these ecosystems is from 250 to uh, 750 mm annually this is not a sufficient rainfall the result is that water is a crucial factor or we can call water a limiting factor water is a factor that limits life because water is required by the plants and animals so specific group of plants or animals can grow here which can conserve water well and which have um property or properties um which help them to live in smaller with, with smaller quantities of water uh plants which lives in the grassland which um, can um, flourish in the grasslands are the tall and short grasses uh we can say the grass family plants from grass family tall grasses short grasses then legumes jo phalidar paude hote hain wo paude jinki phaliyan hoti hain and the legumes the leguminous plants they grow well in these um, areas the herbs small plants the mosses and lichens these are the common inhabitants of a grassland ecosystem animals um they are present in these ecosystems which can 
um, survive with lesser quantities of water which have specific adaptations to conserve water and to live with, a, with fewer water. 